This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals, the Express course, and Course E. And that's because this lesson is Lesson 21 in the Express course and Lesson 16 in Course E, Functions with the Harvester, Puzzle 10. Try writing your function again. Is it still helpful? Can you, you, can you make it work for this puzzle? What do we got? Oh, ho, ho, tricky. So now we have two squares tied together. All right, so we need a function again. Okay, I'm going to name it in a sec. Let's see, we want to go. Last time I put all of my each side of a square here, and I said something like square side for the name. Let's see what that would look like. So to do one side of a square last time, it was just three blocks. So I said move forward last time, and then I said pick lettuce. Is there still just one? Ooh, there's two right here. We got to watch out for that. Uh, oh, I wonder. And then I said move forward, and then I said turn right. Now if there's two right here, that means we're going to go through this side twice, which might actually make sense. Because that way we can just do looping through a square twice. Hmm, how could we do that? So I've used six of our ten blocks. What I can do then is instead of putting a loop here, last time I put a loop out here and I just called my pick square pick, I just called square side four times because I went down each side of the square, picked lettuce, um, and that was enough. This time, though, what if I would put that in here, and instead of pick side of square or square side, um, I could just call this square, because I go in a square and I pick, or maybe pick square. Sure, I'll call it that. And so now I'm going to say function pick square, which should pick this entire square, and I should end up right back here facing right. Okay, well then what I would want to do is face this way because I want to go back down and pick this again. So which way would that be? I would want to, oh, perfect. I would want to turn right and then I'm going to want to run pick square again. So what's going to happen? I click run and it says, oh, pick square. Oh, where's that? Ooh. Oh, here it is. And so then it says, okay, computer, do this code inside of here four times. Move forward, done. Pick lettuce, picked lettuce, that's gone. Move forward again, now I'm here. Turn right, so I'm facing this way. Hits the bottom of this, zoop. Okay, second time through out of four. And then I would move forward, yep, pick the lettuce, and I'll go all the way around the square. Once I've done it four times, I hit the bottom, I fall back out, I go here, and then I turn right this way, and then I go down and I pick the entire square again. Let's give this a try. Yes. Oh, awesome. And functions, you can see, are super powerful. They're used a lot in programming. We're going to be able to do a lot with them. I'm excited. Let's keep going.